Today, I'm going to be erasing Odell Beckham Jr.'s stats all the way down to a zero overall. And for every touchdown he scores, it's 100 points to spend on upgrades. And the goal is to get him all the way up to a 99 overall. But I mean, for now, at least, as you guys can see, OBJ is a 12 overall. I mean, as you know, we can't actually go all the way down to zero. So that's the best you're going to get. But anyways, I mean, OBJ had a pretty slow start to this season, which is reasonable coming off his injury. But I mean, as the year's gone on, it seems like he keeps getting better and better and he's really starting to look like prime obj but now that he's a zero overall i don't think he's going to be doing a whole lot of anything today but anyways it looks like we got to play the texans in week one i'm just gonna get this done and over with though i mean i already know that obj is gonna be absolute trash i just want to oh yeah that route running's terrible so okay he dropped the ball i'm gonna give him one more chance to try and get something done i mean i'm just running easy plays right now with him which he should be able to catch but with his overall as i said i don't think he's gonna be doing anything i mean there's another drop so clearly it seems like we're gonna have to use everyone but obj today but i mean the good things about the ravens i mean they have all the weapons in the world so it's not like not having obj oh my god lamar that was an absolute brick i mean the texans did score after that too so now we're down seven nothing so hopefully we can get a touchdown on this drive to tie things up because even though obj sucks right now i'm really not expecting to lose this game because as i've said i mean the ravens have zay flowers mark and Andrews. we can use gus edwards we can use lamar on the run i mean we have endless opportunities with uh picking up yardage right now that's a huge play from zay i want to use and abuse lamar right now too because i mean last time i ran the ball we got a whole lot of yardage this time we are getting stuff i mean i feel like going on the run of lamar jackson is either a hit or a miss you either get a whole lot of yardage or you get stopped behind the line and this time obviously we got stopped behind the line but it looks like mark andrews is gonna make up for it now we're in the red zone so this is where the real challenge begins i mean first of all i gotta try and get the first down which is at the two yard line without scoring a touchdown that's gonna be a challenge enough but we got it done and now here's where the really difficult part begins because now i gotta try and get a one yard game with obj which i really don't think is gonna happen but i have okay I can't even throw that. Not happening. I mean, that's the thing. There's no way we're actually going to get this guy wide open. And even if we do somehow get OBJ wide open, he's probably going to drop the ball just like that. I mean, we got two more attempts to try and do this. So I'm just praying the defense lets off at some point because the only chance we have of him actually catching the ball is if there's nobody on him at all. Oh my God, he caught it and he got hit. I thought he was going to drop that the second they put contact on him, but somehow he didn't drop the football this time. So we're fine gonna get a touchdown with Beckham and then after that our defense gotta stop I mean honestly the reason I'm expecting to win this game even though I don't think we're gonna be able to do a whole lot on offense is just how good our defense is I mean they are top tier and same with the run game in Lamar that was a ridiculous pickup right there I'm gonna try and go for Gus Edwards this time and hopefully we can just keep the run game going because obviously Lamar did his job that's not anything near what Lamar did I mean the Texans did bring up a fourth down after that though but I'm just gonna hand it off to Gus the bus because there's no way he gets stopped behind the line here i mean oh it's a lamar run i thought that was with okay at least it worked that caught me off guard so much because i did not know that that was an option play but anyways i'm hoping andrews can get one more big shot for us and if he does that should set us up perfectly once again so now we just need my boy obj to get four yards and that's going to be two touchdowns on the game for him i mean that's a lot easier said than done the way he's been playing and that's intercepted okay no that honestly that first touchdown might be the only touchdown that obj is going to be scoring today i mean we do have one more opportunity to try and score here because our field position is amazing but on the downside i mean we only have say that's going to be a touchdown i didn't want that to be a touchdown but I'll take it anyways, because that's going to tie the game up before halftime. So at least we're going to get on the board again. I mean, at this point, we only have 31 seconds on the clock. So either way, we're going to be taking an L today because the Texans scored twice after that. So we don't really have a chance at coming back here. But we do have a chance to get one more TD with OBJ. I mean, we do need to get eight yards here, which is going to be pretty difficult with this guy. I mean, I'm just going to go out of bounds at the one of Lamar. That makes things easier. We are out of timeouts, though. So, I mean, if we get sacked or anything like that, this game is pretty much over and oh bro obj please tell me you're open nobody's on him but he dropped the ball i don't know what to tell you man i mean it really doesn't get much easier than that so if he's not catching that ball i don't know if he's gonna be able to catch anything here 
Open again. And he dropped it again. I mean, it seems like he's always open when I run this route, but it seems like he also always drops it when I run this route. And we're getting smoke, so that's gonna end the game. That was terrible, man. So we're taking a very disappointing loss to the Texans in week one. At home, too. So we're gonna lose our home opener, which just makes things even worse. And I mean, since OBJ did absolutely nothing that game, we only get to add one upgrade. I mean, I'm just gonna go ahead and max out catching traffic, because that was a pretty big issue. I mean, after that one upgrade, obviously, he's still gonna be a 12 overall so nothing has changed i'm just hoping that upgrade can make somewhat of a difference but in week two things get a whole lot harder because now we got to play the cincinnati Bengals. i mean thankfully for us joe burrow is absolutely folding right now i mean the guy threw a pick six on the first play of the game and then he went out and threw another interception so we have great field position right now that's gonna really mess things up i don't even care man we're set up perfectly i don't know if we're gonna be able to get good field position like this again so i'm going for it on fourth down Zay, please, bro. Let's go. I mean, that was a huge play that we desperately needed. So now we're set up perfectly. And now that LBJ has catching traffic, I have faith that he actually might be able to catch something here. I mean, that's going to be... Turn your head, bro. That just bounced off his helmet. Obviously, awareness is another big issue that we can hopefully address after this game. But for that to happen, we're going to need to get touchdowns in the meantime. He's open, and he caught the ball. Let's go. I mean, his catching still a zero, so I'm kind of surprised that he didn't drop that there, but either way, that was pretty easy. So, I mean, that's another touchdown for OBJ, so at least we get to add one more upgrade after this game. Burrow finally did something after that drive, though, so they scored a touchdown, which makes things a whole lot closer. I'm hoping we can score again here, though, and keep it at a two-score lead. That's a big run from Lamar. I'm gonna try and go for Flowers here, though. I mean, actually, it's looking like Bateman honestly might be wide open here. It depends how the defense moves moves he is too let's go bateman give me that that is another huge play from the offense so that's gonna bring the ball all the way to the 29 i'm just gonna try and go for another big shot with zay here and hopefully it works out i mean i'm pretty sure this worked for a first time last first down last time i ran it and we're getting pushed into the end zone bro come on man i mean i'm not gonna complain about another touchdown because that's gonna extend our lead but come on i i wanted to try and set up obj for another one and it looks like burrow is actually starting to get his head in the game so, I mean, he is keeping things close. So, I just got to keep applying pressure and hopefully things work out for us. That's a dot. Let's go. I'm going to try to play of Zay Flowers that worked out for a touchdown last time, too. Because, I mean, if this works, we might be able to get into OBJ range in, like, two plays here. That's close. Never mind. We got you. Wide open. Okay. Again, we are set up perfectly. I'm just going to keep running this Z spot play. Because, honestly, it seems like this is the only one that's worked out for a touchdown so far. Oh boy. No. Okay. We're rushing that off. I really need him to get open here because now it's fourth down. If this doesn't work, we're going to come all this way for nothing. And that would really suck. So OBJ, please do something. <laughs> oh, your catch and traffic is maxed out, but you still drop the ball. Good job. I mean, honestly, I'm just happy our defense is keeping us in this game because the Bengals did kick two field goals after that. But since they didn't score any touchdowns, we're still up by one point, which is pretty big right now because now we're also in the fourth quarter. I mean, I think we all knew the Bengals were not going to be an easy game and so far it has not been an easy game but surprisingly we're we are playing better against these guys than we did against Houston I'm gonna try and go for a shot with Zay here though because I mean if this doesn't work we're only gonna need like two yards to keep the drive alive and I'm pretty sure Edwards should be able to pick that up the way he's been playing and that's a dot let's go okay that's a huge one I mean I cannot wait until we get some upgrades for OBJ because I mean at this point until you get the ball to the three yard line he's basically useless I mean even when we have the ball at the three yard line he's basically useless once we get his overall leveled up though i mean that opens up a whole new world of options with the football i'm gonna try and go for him here he's wide open let's go that's another touchdown from obj okay again i mean i was honestly expecting him to drop that because his catching is still a zero but i mean since he got hit there that counts as a catch in traffic so that's gonna be another touchdown anyways i mean on the Bengals' attempt at a game-winning drive we forced a fumble so we have great field position with 51 seconds to go i should probably just be running the clock out but i want to try and get one more touchdown with obj i mean we haven't had a whole lot of opportunities with obj today and since we're set up perfectly here i gotta make sure i don't waste it oh 
Oh, I'm just going to stay on the run. That is a huge play from Lamar. I mean, we only have six seconds to do this, but if this works out, that is going to be pretty big upgrades wise. So hopefully this works. Oh, he got locked up, but we're going to catch it. And that's going to be his third touchdown of the game. I mean, the game was already over before that touchdown. So that really isn't going to do anything upgrades wise though. I mean, that means we get three upgrades after this game, which is pretty big. But anyways, I mean, obviously after that, we closed the game out. So we're finally going to get our first win of the season after the very disappointing loss last week. But now we have 300 points to spend, which is pretty big. So we're going to go ahead and max out our speed. And we're also going to max out acceleration. And then I also want to go ahead and max out our medium route running. And since we're doing this, I'm going to take away half of our catch in traffic and put the other half towards catching so he won't be dropping everything when he's wide open. And after all of those upgrades, OBJ has gone all the way up to a 15 overall. So I mean, obviously he's still last. It looks like we've really made no progress whatsoever. But either way, those upgrades should make a pretty big difference. But anyways, that's going to bring us to week three. And as you can see, now we have to play the Colts. And for some reason, the Ravens always have problems when they play the Colts. Anyways, I'm going to try and go to Andrews here to start things off. If this gets locked up, I might have to go on the run. Actually, I'm just going to go for you. Flowers is wide open. So that's going to be a first. With the speed upgrade though, I mean, OBJ should be running like Tyreek Hill. So I'm really hoping that he can be wide open here. I mean, he should blow past this defender that is going to be really close but if it works and it's going to that's going to be the biggest touchdown of the day so it looks like after just a few upgrades he's playing like prime obj again i mean he's only a 15 overall so i don't want to get ahead of myself but that is a huge touchdown we haven't really used lamar on the run yet this game so hopefully this doesn't get blown up i mean as i said it seems like his runs are 50 50 yeah, that's not what I wanted, but at least we didn't lose yardage there. So now we just need six yards for the first down, and I'm pretty confident that Zay can get this. I mean, he's kind of locked up, but mm, he's open last second, so that's a first. The Colts did bring up a third down after that, though, so I really need somebody to get open here. I'm going to try and go for Mark Andrews, and hopefully this works out. There is nobody on him. That is going to be a huge play to keep the drive alive, and we're still going. So that one brings the ball all the way to the 23-yard line. I'm going to try and go for an end zone play of obj i mean it looks like this is probably gonna get shut down actually that might work that might work that is another crazy catch from beckham again i don't know how the hell he didn't drop that ball because it looked like he got smoked when he caught it and i mean that was somehow perfectly placed from lamar too and it looks like he got the feed in so that's two touchdowns on the day for beckham but anyways once again our defense got a stop i'm pretty sure they forced a fumble or something because we have great field position here i'm just gonna try and get lamar going on the run oh my god we have some open field that is another huge play i'm gonna try and go back to obj here i mean this plays also a hit or miss but if it works out we should be able to get a little bit more than a first down i'm thinking like 15 20 yards here hopefully we also need our o-line to hold up because again they have not really been doing that today but we're gonna find beckham juke still doesn't work though so we're getting stopped i mean in the first two games this guy was not able to get eight yards so hopefully this works out for a touchdown i mean we've seen some huge improvements already that's almost in i mean the colts did bring up a fourth down after that so it's something or nothing here i'm really praying obj can get open here because if he's not we came all this way for no reason but it looks like it's gonna work out so that is three first half touchdowns for beckham but now we're back out here in the third quarter as you can see the colts finally got some points on the board so it's 21 to 10 now that's another one can we hit the juke yes sir edwards that's a first i mean this play hasn't worked since the first time we ran it but the first time we ran it it worked out for a touchdown so i'm hoping we can do the same thing here that's a dot and we have nothing but open field so that's gonna be his fourth touchdown of the game i mean again just like always that speed and acceleration upgrade is probably the best decision i could have possibly made he's playing a whole lot better but anyways i mean the colts have made things a whole lot closer but the game's pretty much over at this point we're up by 11 and we only have a minute on the clock we also have great field position because williams got another interception and that is gonna be five touchdowns on the game for beckham so i mean after this those upgrades should take us a long way 500 points is no joke but we're gonna take another dub 42 to 31 the final so that one right there is gonna move us to two and one on the season so we got a winning record now which is nice with the first 100 points we're gonna re-max out catching traffic and i'm also gonna max out catching and then we're also gonna max out spectacular catch 
because I'm hoping to see some one-handed OBJ grabs today. And then we'll max out short route running, deep route running. And then for the final upgrade, I'm going to go ahead and max out our agility. And after all of those upgrades, OBJ has gone all the way up to a 73 overall. So we're definitely finally starting to see some progress. I'd say if we can have another crazy game like that, we should hit a 99. But I mean, since we're one good performance away from hitting a 99 overall, I wanted to end things off with a bit of a challenge. So we sim to week 15 and we got to play the Jacksonville Jaguars. We're also 11 and 2. So it looks like this team has been balling out ever since the last game. I mean, the Jags did score first, but we held them to a field goal. So we're only down by three, which means if we score right now, we're going to have the lead. And it looks like we have a path for Lamar. So that's a first. Going to try and go back to this play of OBJ. I mean, it looks like this is going to get shut down because he's double team right now. So there's no way he's going to be open here. I got to keep it on the ground of Lamar again. I mean, he has some open space, so it looks like that's going to be another huge pickup. That's the reason the Ravens are so dangerous, man, because even if you have everyone locked up, Lamar is just going to take it on the run and absolutely burn you. But the Jags did bring up a third down after that, so things are not looking too good right now. I mean, we need OBJ more than ever. And that's going to work out for a first. So now as long as we can pick up three yards here, that's going to be another touchdown. I mean, Josh Allen might be on my ass here, but either way, Beckham is wide. He dropped it. Come on, bro. You're catching traffic's maxed out. I don't care. I'm going for the exact same play until it works out. Because if I just keep running this, I have a feeling it should work at some point. I mean, that's usually what happens when I run this play. This time, we're not going to drop it. So that's going to be his first touchdown of the game. And that one right there is going to give us the lead. So we're going to be up 7-3 to start things off. And I mean, the Jags did score after that too. So now we're down by three points. I mean, I knew this game was going to be back and forth. So it's obviously going to be a challenge just like I expected. That that is an absolute dot from Lamar. So after the big play right there, it brings the ball all the way to the 35. It seems like they also cannot stop Lamar on the run whatsoever today. That time they're going to get to us. I mean, it's third down now, so hopefully Andrews can get open. If not, we're going to have to kick a field goal. I mean, at least that would tie the game up, but I did not come all this way. Oh, that's getting shut down too. Okay, I'm just going to take the points that I can get, man. Because I mean, if we can tie the game, that is pretty big. If we did go for it on fourth down, and it didn't work out that would probably come back to hurt us in the long run i mean we're down 17 10 now so no surprise the jags are making things difficult for us we also have terrible field position but that's gonna make up for it i'm gonna try and go for a shot with zay after that too because i mean hopefully if this works out i should be in decent field position where i can try and go for that shot with obj and it looks like that is gonna be a crazy pickup and we're still going so he might actually okay dude this would be a touchdown but i'm just gonna go out at the three so this they set us up perfectly. Hopefully, OBJ can do his job now. I mean, if this play is going to work, I'll probably have to wait until the very last second. He's open, too. That's another touchdown from Beckham. Honestly, the way things are going, I have a feeling that this game is going to come right down to the very last play. I mean, no surprise the Jags scored again after that. So now we're down by seven points once again, and we need to score to make sure we can tie things up. That is bad. I mean, I really needed Lamar to get some yardage there, but instead we lost like five yards. So now it's second and 15. That's going to be a first though. Mark Andrews is wide open. So that's going to make up for that play. I'm just going to try and run a slant here. And if this works out, I'll probably try and go for another shot with Beckham here. But we need to get this first because it is second down. That's going to be a big play either way. Let's go. OBJ is wide open again, and we're going to bring the ball all the way to the 31. Honestly, I was going to go for a shot, but that play worked amazingly. So I'm just going to try and run this again here, and hopefully it can do the same thing it did last time. Beckham's open again, and it looks like he's going to have a path to the end zone. So that's going to tie the game up once again. I mean, it seems like this is just back and forth at this point. I told you this was going to come right down to the wire, and it looks like that's how it's going. And once again, the Jags scored. So hopefully we can get another touch down here i mean i honestly feel like this game's gonna go to overtime the way things have been going we're getting rushed but beckham is wide open for another huge play mar almost has 500 passing yards too so i mean we are actually going off right now and again i'm gonna run this slant uh this time 
no way that works out. I thought that was going to get intercepted. I kind of regretted throwing that, but we're at the four now. I mean, as long as I don't throw an interception or something here, we should be able to tie this game up. Beckham is... Bro, Lamar threw a brick. He was wide open. That might come back to burn us because now it's third down. So we only have two more attempts to try and tie this game up. I'm running... Oh, dude, he's open again. And this time we're not going to throw a brick. So that's another touchdown from Beckham. That right there is going to be his fourth on the game. So once again, I mean, he is going off today i think we might have honestly left too much time on the clock for trevor lawrence though and as you can see unfortunately it looks like we did i mean we kind of just got to go for a shot with obj and pray that somebody's open i mean we could go for obj or zay here either one would work it looks like zay might be the guy right now man that might oh dude please tell me that's he dropped it bro it was in his hands and it popped out so now the game comes down to this it's either something or nothing obj is gonna be open too please tell me he's not gonna get hit after he catches this come on that would have tied it and sent it to ot but since we got hit we're gonna take the l i mean that's another very disappointing loss i mean that game came right down to the wire just like i thought but to lose by one touchdown especially when obj got the ball all the way to the five yard line at the end really doesn't sit well with me i mean either way we have 400 points to spend so we're gonna go ahead and max out our awareness and then i'm also gonna max out our strength for the final two upgrades i guess we'll go ahead and max out change of direction and then we'll end it off by maxing out juke move and after all of those upgrades obj has gone all the way up to a 99 overall so i mean we finally made it and we also have an 11 and 3 record right now so i'm thinking we actually have a pretty solid shot at getting the number one seed in the playoffs now, as you can see we're gonna finish off the season going 14 and 3 to win the division but we got to play the chargers in the wild card round because apparently the chiefs also went 14 and 3 so they got the number one seed but it looks like we got the best of la so now we have a rematch against the jags but unfortunately it looks like trevor lawrence is gonna clap us once again so that puts an end to our playoff run i mean that is a very disappointing way to end off the season because i felt like this actually might be our year because the ravens were balling out but for some reason we just couldn't get past the Jags. On the bright side though, I mean, Lamar Jackson's gonna win MVP this year, and it looks like the Cowboys are gonna end up beating the Chiefs in the Super Bowl, so Dak finally got himself a ring, but that's gonna do it for this one. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It'd really help out the channel, and if you have any video ideas, feel free to drop them down in the comment section below. I'll try to get to as many of them as I can, and while you're down there, comment the most random thing you can think of so we can confuse everybody in the comment section, but other than that i'll see you guys in the next one peace out